game and score! My freshman redshirt year, we got pounded by Miami 58-7. Uh, to 7. And I remember uh, Terry Andresia, our backup quarterback, Terry walking across the field and said, we're going to have our day to get back at you, Jimmy Johnson. And uh, he said, you know, just take it for what it is. And so I never forgot that. 45 seconds to play. Notre Dame 31, Miami 30, and going for two. The guy I was defending, Leonard Conley, uh, a lot of people don't realize this, but Leonard and I were big rivals in high school. We were both... Uh, I played in the same division in high school out of Florida. I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. You know, a bunch of those guys in that team were personal friends of mine. And then lining up on this big play against one of the guys I'd seen so many times, it was a sense of familiarity there as well, too. Dawkins wide to the right, Brown to the slot. Conley the wingman on the right side. Three wide receivers right. They're gonna go for two. Back to throw. Walk, look, look, look. Has the time. Lost the ball. The pass is spread it down. It's spread it down by Peru in the air. Pat Terrell made that play in that game. It was like everybody made that play for that team uh, of uh, 85. I think it was a little redemption for everybody that was a part of that. And when we beat them, it was uh, the biggest win I was part of, and it goes down in history as the biggest game ever won in Notre Dame Stadium. So many people were integral on that play. You know, you look at George Williams, the rush that he gave. You know, without that, you know, Steve Walsh could have found any receiver quick. And, and lit up the scoreboard. The ironic thing is, uh, back when I made that play, I believe our stadium's, you know, the capacity was about 59,000. But I probably, to date, have met about 80,000 people that were sitting right in that corner when I made that play. You know, I'm a very positive thinking person, but every once in a while you lay in bed at night and think, man, if I didn't make that play, it'd be kind of a scary place to walk around. But uh, I'm glad it turned out like it did.